Coming up next, guys, we have a, an amazing guy. And this man, he runs a company that can help you, especially if you're generating leads, you're dealing with folks that sometimes have challenges. He has a program where they game plan with them, guarantee results, and they're going to return back your clients so that you can be able to go and, um, you know, close more loans, help your real estate agents sell more houses. In fact, today their company is helping around 200 home buyers per month get pre, you know, basically get their credit built up to the point of getting pre-approved for a home loan. And they're helping 200 people now uh, get, you know, go to closing every single month. And that's, that's super awesome. So if you guys don't already know, I want to introduce you to Mr. Sam Parker. What's going on, Sam? Hey, Nick, how's it going, man? Man, thanks for being here on the Mortgage Living Legend Summit. Really appreciate you for joining us. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Uh, I had a, 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 a full slate of things to do today, but um, I canceled them. I said, I'm not coming to all of your social gatherings. And I'm going to be right here for this uh, this summit. So no, dude, I, I, I appreciate the invite. Uh, happy to Happy to be here, man. Good company. Awesome, awesome. Well, yeah, man. If you want, I'm gonna pin your video, and you wanna, um, you wanna kind of, kind of take it away. Yeah, sure. Cool, man. Yeah. So, you know what, what we wanted to do with my credit guy, and what I think we've done is create a system that flows side by side, you know, with the mortgage and real estate process. And what we're finding is that the huge, huge response rates from these clients that so many loan officers are discounting and saying, you know, they're just punting, right? They're just saying, hey, never mind, move on to the next one. Um, and especially in this time where all of a sudden our 640s and our 650s don't aren't qualifying for you know what we thought they were, you know, two weeks ago, our service now is more important than ever. But one thing that I think that I really want to get through to people is that so many people really do want credit help. It, 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 and you have to give them the option of that. You know, we get really good at automating. We get really good at ads. Um, we get good at, at sifting through and finding those 720s and the people that are good to go right now. But we forget about these hundreds or thousands of people and what they're saying to you. And, and what they're saying to you by clicking on your link, by calling you, by filling out 1003 with you is, I've chosen you over thousands and thousands of other loan officers. And I want to pay you three to $6,000 for helping me get a home loan. Will you help me do that? And there's so many people that whether they know it or not are like, nah, uh, actually I'm going to move on to the next one. You know, and it's like, are, you're crazy. You're crazy. Like you have to have a system in place that gets these people back to the closing table, whether it's now or later, but it can't be a no, right? Because again, you've just won a tournament of thousands of loan officers and you came out on top that this person is going to trust you, give you their business. And then you just punt it and you say, nah, go to, go to Quicken because I, I, I need to move on, right? Or I have some rapid rescores, I can do some things, but after that, it's not worth it to me. And, and, and so what I try to do is get loan officers to realize, like, I promise it is worth it. It is worth it to have a good system for these folks. So what we've done is we built that system, Nick, you know, we've went in and we figured out how is it that other credit repair companies aren't getting people back to the closing table. And why is that? And so much of it is communication, follow up, follow through, um, actually, you know, looking at a, 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 you know, individual case by case basis and dealing with those individual clients. Um, and I think that that's why we're having, you know, so much success right now in the mortgage world. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I know definitely some of the, you know, one of the things that I hear from people a lot is about your, about the dashboard and just the fact that you aren't a black hole. You know, so talk, can you talk about like, what is, what is different about, you know, um, t talk about your referral process, because to me, that's one of the things that's the biggest difference is like, you make it su super, super simple for people to actually send over. So how does that work? Yeah. So number one, what we're realizing again, is that clients want our help. Number two, what we're realizing is if we don't make it really simple, loan officers will just move right past them. So what we've done is we've created that dashboard where they can come in at any time, just simply upload a file securely, 
click submit, track their leads in that same portal, track all their clients in that same portal, marketing information in that same portal, you know, access to, uh, you know, the credit builder card and different tools for their clients in that same portal, just all one spot where they don't have to guess, they don't have to go look for emails, they don't have to wonder whatever happened with Joe Schmo that I referred over 90 days ago or anything like that. It's all right there in the portal for you. And if for some reason it wouldn't be, as most people know, you can get a hold of us in 30 seconds usually, whether it's phone, text, or, or chat. So we've just, what we've really focused on, Nick, honestly, is user experience for both the loan officer and the client. And if at your core, you always have user experience as the underlying laws, then everything else just kind of flows. And, and so, so that's kind of how we built it. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And I know even within the Legion of Loan Officers, we were looking at some folks that use you guys and, and some of them were getting like 25% of their bad credit leads back as, mm -hmm. as, you know, closable clients. And I mean, that's pretty epic, especially for anybody. I mean, if you're watching this right now, drop us a comment and let us know how many leads have you generated? If you're generating leads today, you know, how many leads are you generating on a monthly basis? And, you know, we'll come back in the comments later and we'll talk about what that, what that could mean in terms of some extra deals for you. But um, it's been pretty awesome. The people that I see how the fact that, you know, like I said, some of the one guy that we looked at, he for every four people that he was sending to my credit guy, one person was signing up and, and then actually coming back, you know, so yep. he was getting 25% of those bad folks back. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it, it, and what, what that guy in particular was really good at, it was the, like the lead gen in the systems with our folks that are more of like the, I sit down, of course, not right now, but the knee to knee people that are like having conversation like that, those numbers can be even higher. So it's just, what do you want out of it? You know, and, and, and there's people out there that have realized how important this is and, and working with a company like ours that now have LOAs that their sole job is to interact with my credit guy because we're helping them produce three, five, eight extra loans per month because they're taking these folks serious. Because again, when people are applying, the, most people have the character characteristics of a buyer, right? They have, they, but one thing's off either, either they, they have good credit, but not the income or, or they have, you know, income, but, but not the credit, but they're coming to your website for one reason or another, and they're raising their hand and you just have to have an incubator for those people. And if you do, then, you know, so many loan officers live, you know, this far in front of their face, you know, what, what's it look like for next month? What are you planning on retiring next year? Why wouldn't you want to plant a field that's going to pay you off in four months, six months, a year, even, you know? Yeah. One guy brought up a question. He said, you know, if they have bad credit, you know, they probably can't afford to pay their bills. So how do they, how do they pay you? I guess it depends on how recent the bad credit is. Well, what do you that, that I think that that's a good question, but over generalization, everybody that has bad credit definitely isn't struggling to pay their bills right now. And if they're struggling to pay their bills, they're most likely not applying for a home loan either. So that home loan process kind of is that first level of, of filter, I guess you'd say, uh, or, or, or hand raising. But what we'll do is we'll look through a client's credit report and we'll identify if they can't afford our service. We'll say, hey, this is not a good fit for you because you can't afford to pay your your credit, your credit cards are all maxed out right now. The last thing I want to do is add another bill for you. Remember, we don't charge until the 30th day either. So we do give that cushion where they have time to save up. But at the same time, the last thing we want to do is be a burden for a client. What we would rather do is give them some free coaching, some free advice, some free access to education, give them some marching orders and say, Hey, listen, what you really need to do is get a handle on this. Here's what our suggestions would be for that circle back to us in a month, or we'll follow up with you in a month and see if it's a better time for you. But we have no interest in signing up a client where this is going to be a burden on their budget. either. Yeah, that's awesome. I respect that. Well, um, uh, I saw Luca was asking about if you guys have Spanish assistance. We do. We do. We have Spanish at every level, Spanish speakers at every level. So we have Spanish at our intake or onboarding. We have Spanish speakers uh, at our credit coach level. That's going to be that guide. Each one of our clients gets a dedicated credit coach throughout the entire process. That's going to be that individual person's guide back closing table, that credit coach, their only job in the whole world 
is to get our clients back to the closing table with our referral partners. And we do have Spanish speakers there. All documents are translated to Spanish. All education materials that are printed are translated to Spanish. I speak Spanish and so much of our videos are me. So I need to get on that. But everything else, the user experience is on point for our Spanish speakers. Yeah, that's really cool. And um, I, I, do you want to get into anything about your charging or your fees or have that structured or just sure. have people contact you later? No, no, no that's fine. I can, I, I'll cover it briefly. So we're one of the only companies who really doesn't charge upfront fees. We don't charge anything until the 30th day of service. On day 30, clients are going to have three options depending on their budget or preference. Clients just want to knock it out kind of on the front end of things. We'll do $3.99 on day 30 and then down to $89 for an individual uh, per month that's needed. We do guarantee our turn times too. So when we originally look at a file, I say, as long as you do this, this, and this, and that's the other thing I'll get into is we do set clear expectations for what the client's going to need to do. We're not that credit repair company that says, oh, we know how to hocus pocus and get all of your negatives to disappear. No problem. We'll say, hey, client, you got to pay this down. You got to open up a credit card and you got to set some funds aside for settlements here in 30 to 60 days, you know. Um, but uh, it, it, as long as they do all the, the things, the few little things that we can't control that, that a serious client trying to qualify for a mortgage would do, then we'll fully guarantee that, that time quote. And if we only get them like halfway there, what we realize is that we've positioned ourselves as a company that is trying to get people qualified for home loans. If they say, hey, we need 60 points to get this done. And I say, as long as you do this and this, I think we can make that happen. If they do those things and we don't get them there, that would typically be a full refund situation. So, you know, the client's not going to lose. They're not going to be in that middle ground. But we'll, we have a program that goes 160 a month for four months, you know, still first payment not due until the 30th day. You know, as best as I know, you're the only company that's doing um, the 30 day delay pay, which the way I understand it is actually the law for it, you know, is like basically perform before you before you charge, which most don't do that. Yeah, yeah, you know, a lot of credit repair companies charge on the fifth day after they've done their setup. And it's like, just ask the client, hey client, did you, uh, did you think that you were paying for some setup? Or did you think that you were paying for some results and some coaching and some guidance, you know? And they're gonna be like, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted over there, right? And then you have the pay model of um, only charging for the deletions you get, which is all well and good, except for like, most clients with us would end up paying thousands of dollars where our average clients paying 577 over the course of 90 days. Gotcha. Yeah, definitely reasonable. And, uh, and, and like I said, the, the two things, the, the two biggest reasons why I think loan officers, if you don't have a credit person, or even if you have one, give one person over here to Sam. The main thing is number one is try their onboarding, right? Um, try the onboarding process because it's so easy where you get a link that people can just go. It's almost like a Calendly link and right. people can go and just uh, book their own appointment. It's not this like back and forth email chain and, and all this stuff where you got to get on a three-way phone call somehow. And you know, it's some places it's really difficult. And that's one of the great things. The other thing is that it, you know, my credit guy actually brings the people back. You know, you actually get people back. It's not a black hole, which is almost what everybody talks about with, with credit repair, right? Is a this is a black hole. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, man, you know, and 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 I know I I get it. Like in credit repair, we have to try really, really hard to keep everybody on the same page. Because I'll tell you, clients, you know, you're trying to change behavior in a lot of cases, or you're working through a really messy situation. Um, and then on top of that, you know, to keep the loan officers who are really busy and focused on other areas all on the same page so that everybody can meet back at closing is, you know, it's a, it, it's a labor of love. Yeah, for sure. And if you guys are hearing from Sam right now and you don't have a My Credit Guy link, just drop a comment in the group. Say, I need a link, Sam. And either Sam, I saw Alexandra's in the comments and somebody will get back with you and uh, make sure that you guys are taken care of. Uh, so that you can get a link set up and be able to uh, be able to refer clients over and see the experience yourself. Right. And if, if any reason you feel like it isn't happening the way that I'm telling you is going to happen, come back and tell me. And, yeah. and, you know, because I already know, like I've already been through their credit repair myself. My wife went through it. My brother already put in the comments that he's gone through it. So we can tell you guys with our own, um, you know, with my own knowledge, I don't have to go off of what somebody else is saying because I dealt with it myself. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. We, we, you know, the bottom line is 
when somebody deals with us, they are going to leave being better off than when they came. Meaning I am going to improve their credit as much as I possibly can. And then they're either going to get what they were after, or we're going to come to a point where we say, Hey, listen, the way that you thought your credit was, unfortunately, isn't the way it was, you know, because we go off of what they're telling us and then we would refund them. So there's just not that situation where a client goes, I did what they said and I didn't qualify and I'm sitting here in the middle. There's, there's going to be a win for a client when they work with us. For sure. And especially if you're generating leads, if you're spending money on Facebook ads today, or yep. you're running in Instagram ads or any of those type of things, this is absolutely required, you know, to have somebody like Sam in your corner and have my credit guy, because you already know you're going to be getting leads that need help on their credit. You already know right. it. And so instead of being frustrated, you can have a plan and just have a link over. One of the cool things, like with my brother, you know, he's going to be speaking later today with his agency clients he connects all of his agency clients into my credit guy. So as they're going through the survey funnels, you know, these long form survey funnels, if somebody says they have bad credit or fair credit, you can have those people go to my credit guy landing page. And if they say they have good credit or excellent credit, you can have those people go to your own calendar page. So either way, both people are getting to book an appointment looking seemingly with your team. Um, but they just, it's, that's how seamless it is to work with my credit guy. So like I said, if you haven't, already drop a comment. I see tons of people saying they need a link. So that's mm -hmm. awesome. So drop a comment. I need a link, Sam, and, and really understand what, what these guys are doing. You, you mentioned in your marketing portal, can you go a little deeper in what, what the marketing portal is? If there's like, what type of stuff is in there? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, do you want me to show you really quick? If you want. Yeah. 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 Hang on one second. Sorry. I'll, uh, I'll pull it up really quick. Yeah. So what we do is we make it so that you can track all your clients in one spot. And then also it's, it's by request. So, and, and then we have all of our videos in there. So um, if you're familiar with our videos, what we do is we pump out a ton of credit education content and we try to do it in a way that it's educational and informative for the loan officer. But at the same time, it's in a format that can be shared with the consumer in order to educate and also to drum up some conversations. Um, so we've given them access to all that and I'll quit talking here. Just give me a second to concentrate. I, I, I always think I can do two things at once. And then I realize, like, Oh, not doing the first thing now. Okay, so here's what a, a referral partner portal looks like. This one's just a dummy one with me in it. So, you know, they would come here right here. They can request at any time customized marketing information so or, or uh, flyers. So they can say, hey, listen, I'm going to be doing a first time home buyer seminar. I'm going to be doing a realtor lunch and learn. I'm trying to do this on social media. And within 48 hours, 48 business hours, we'll get them back customized images. They just need to get us headshots, logos, NMLS, whatever else they want on there. And then we'll put it right here in your own portal and you'll be able to grab that at any time. And then up here, we give them access to all videos that we do. And the reason that this is really cool is because right here, so many people are like, hey, I, I want to use your videos, but I need to be able to share them so that I get credit for them, you know, with the Facebook algorithm and stuff. So what we've done is we've clicked, we've put a download link on all of them so that you can grab the U or the, uh, the original format from a uh, Dropbox and use them that way. Or people can come here and, you know, that client's asking the question about divorce and credit for the, you're tired of answering it for the hundredth time. And you could just come here, shoot them a YouTube link and say, Hey, I, I don't want to answer. Well, you're not saying that you're saying I'm answering your question. Here you go. But then you don't have to have that conversation. So we've just tried to load that thing full of resources so that people can, you know, move on with their day and leave the credit and the heavy lifting in the credit department to us. Yeah, it makes sense. And that's why I didn't ask you some of the questions people asked about this deletion or that deletion. It's like, you know, at the end of the day, we, we don't care about that. <laughs> you know, yeah. let, let Sam and his team worry about that stuff. Yeah. Because here's what it is. It's, it, when, when you work like we do, it's not just about like, because any company is going to claim we're able to get a complete wipe in 30 days or we get 62% of items deleted. It's a case by case basis. It's, it's because I get clients that need 200 points and I get clients that need a tough 38 points that they just cannot figure out where to get those last 38 points. So it's not on that file where 
it seems to the loan officer like all resources have been exhausted. We might only get, I don't know, one item deleted, but that one item deleted got us, you know, 48 points because it was the only negative on an otherwise perfect, what should be 740 credit score. You know what I mean? So it's just a case by case basis, but because we work like that, that's why we get people back to the closing table like crazy. <clears throat> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, let me see. Michaela said, I really like how you said there's going to be a win for the client. Changing behavior and credit education is huge, especially if they're buying a home. This will help them throughout their life. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah unfortunately, it, credit is not really taught anywhere else, you know? <laughs> well, exactly. And, and you think about when you, when you artificially inflate somebody's credit scores, right? You go in and you just, you, you got that special sauce. So you're able to get some deletions, but the clients never learn anything. They never take accountability. They never change behaviors. We're handing them a ticking time bomb. We're handing them a loan buyback situation. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. these people need to change behaviors or, or it's a situation where it was a good person and bad things are happening to them. And then they need an advocate to watch out for them because more than likely they have a full-time job. They have kids, they have other things to do. So, you know, you get a lot of that chatter out there um, from all the experts on Facebook. They're like, you, you, the client can do this themselves. It's like, well, what other services do you want them to do themselves then so that you feel validated in saying you should do something yourself? You know, like where do we, where do we draw that line? So um, yeah, it can be an amazing tool. And most clients that are in the home buying situation that are working full time do not want to take the project on of trying to credit up from the past either. Yeah, absolutely. Well, man, thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate that. And uh, oh, you know, that was, that was super awesome. Great, great content, great information. And I uh, just wanted to, oops, just wanted to tell you that. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, dude, always a pleasure. Go low, low. Love you guys. All right, Sam. We'll talk to you later on. All right, bye-bye. I was doing about a million, million and a half a month. I had, you know, five core realtor referral partners, um, but I was always having to initiate contact and um, kind of ask for the business and be kind of treated like, you know, that lender that calls every Monday type of a thing. I know I have massive value to add and nobody's gonna be doing what I'm doing. And I'm able to basically interview people to see if they're a fit to work with me instead of the shoe being on the other foot. I recruited a team of five. So I went from one person running the ship to being the captain of a ship um, with five people on the team. I was able to leave retail and um, now I'm a member and owner of a mortgage company and I'll never have a non-producing manager ever again. I'll always be able to return that margin to my customers um, through lower interest rates and lower fees and more products. So freedom.